क्वेश्चन नंबर 161 वन कैन सी ब्राइट ए कलर्ड बैंड ऑफ डीएनए इन बी स्टेन्ड एग्रोस जेल एक्सपोज टू यूवी लाइट चूज द ऑप्शन दैट फिल द ब्लैंक्स करेक्टली एंड द ऑप्शंस गिवन आर द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से पिंक कलर्ड बैंड्स of dna in methylene blue and this is incorrect because one can see bright orange colored bands of dna in a ethidium bromide or etbr stained gel when exposed to uv rays so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 because they see bright orange colored dna bands in ethidium bromide or etbr stained agarose gel when exposed to uv light this is a direct line from your ncrt book The next option is blue and X gal. This is incorrect. And the last option, yellow and gram, is also incorrect. Gram staining is done for identifying bacterial culture. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's discuss our next question. Question number one sixty two. Egg rose is a natural polymer extracted form, and the options are fungus, bacteria, seaweed, protozoan. This is also a direct line from your NCERT book. And egg rose is extracted from seaweeds. seaweeds option number 3 is the correct answer to this question let's discuss our next question question number 163 read the following statements carefully the very first statement statement a says the native wild type e coli cells do not carry resistance against any antibiotics and this is a correct statement because wild type e coli do not carry resistance against any of the antibiotics The next statement is statement B, which says lac Z gene in PBR three two two is considered as useful selectable marker for E. coli, and this is an incorrect statement because PBR three two two contains ampicillin resistance gene and tetracycline resistance gene, whereas lac Z gene is a property of PAC eight plasmid and not PBR three two two. So choose the correct option. The very first option say both the statements are incorrect is incorrect because statement A is a correct statement. Both statements are correct. This is incorrect as statement B is incorrect. Only statement A is correct is the correct answer to our question. Only statement B is correct is incorrect option. So the correct answer is option number three. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number one sixty four. All of the following are true for genetically modified plants, except, and the options given are, helped to reduce post-harvest losses is correct. This is true for genetically modified plants, so this cannot be a correct answer. These plants have reduced efficiency of mineral usage is incorrect, so this is a correct answer to our question because genetically modified plants have increased efficiency of mineral usage that prevents early exhaustion of soil fertility. So it's not reduced, but increased efficiency. The next statement is reduced reliance on chemical pesticides, as this is correct for GM plants. So this cannot be a correct answer. And the last option is enhanced nutrition value of food is also correct. So this cannot be a correct answer. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number one sixty five. Bt in Bt cotton refers to, and the options given are bio pesticide transgene. beta carotene transgene bacillus thuringiensis and bacterial toxin and the correct answer to this question is option number 3 bacillus thuringiensis because bt toxin is produced by bacteria called bacillus thuringiensis or bt in short so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 let's proceed to the next question mm -hmm. 